Hello everyone and welcome to my latest YouTube video. Today, I have a unique situation to share with you all. As you can see behind me, there's a car broken down at a workplace and it needs some serious repair work done. Luckily for the owner, that's where I come in. I've been working on cars for years and I've seen it all. From minor repairs to major overhauls, I fixed just about every problem you can imagine. And today I'm gonna be walking you through the process of repairing this car and getting it back on the road. But first, let me give you a little background. As far as I can tell, this car has been taken well care of. However, even the best maintained cars can break down from time to time and this one's no exception. So what's the issue with this car you might ask? Well, it's hard to say for sure until I take a closer look, but based on the symptoms it's exhibiting, my best guess is it's an issue with the starter. There could be a variety of reasons for this. I'm gonna have to dig in to figure it out, but I'm confident I can fix it. By the end of this video, you'll have a much better understanding of what it takes to repair a car and how to tackle your own car problems. So without further ado, let's get to work and get this car back on the road. Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and I'm on my way to a call out. I just got a call that somebody's car won't start and they're stuck at work. So I've got to get this fixed by the end of the day for them or else it's going to get expensive. So let's head over there and see if we can figure it out. Start with this. So when I first got out here, I wasn't sure exactly what was going on and the battery actually looked pretty promising. Um, so I'm gonna throw the tester on there and you'll see, it looks like it might be the issue at first, but we'll soon learn that's not quite it. Check connection. Okay, might be a bad battery connection then. All right, I'm gonna clean those up first. This video is sponsored by Andanda. Andanda sent me this nice pair of boots and five pairs of leather gloves. Let me show them to you real quick. I have a few pair of Andanda boots and I really like them. These boots are always top quality and they have these composite toes in them. This 21st century steel toe, lightweight, but also protects your feet while you're out working. These boots are really comfy and they fit true to size. Now here's a look at some of these leather gloves. I love using leather gloves. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've been using them for about a year straight. In my opinion, these feel like great leather gloves. If you want tight leather gloves, order them true to size, but if you want them a little loose fitting, then you should order a size bigger. I love the versatility of leather gloves. They keep my hands warm in the winter and they also keep them clean. I put a pair in every single one of my vehicles and these I am expecting to last just as long as my other pair. I was even able to give this pair of boots to my brother who helps me out a ton and he works in food preparation so he's even going to be able to use these in the kitchen since they come with non-slip soles. So if you're interested in these, thanks again to Andanda. Check out the links in the description in the pinned comment. Back to the video. test. See what it thinks now. Now we've got 12 volts. Let's give her a test. Good. It needs to be recharged. It might start, but it's good. Okay. It looks like it should start now. All right, it says it needs to be recharged too. 
It looked like it had 12 volts, so I thought maybe it would start, but let me just jump it real quick. It sounds like it's got power. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see, let this warm up real quick and then I'll tell you when it's ready. All right, start now. If it'll start, yeah, if it's not something else, this will start it. All right, let me put it on boost real quick. All right, let's try one more time. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let me reset this and see. Okay, so that didn't get it to start, but I actually put a wrench on just one of the pulleys to see if the motor was seized. Since it sounded like it tried to turn over a little bit, sometimes a seized up motor will do that. So I'm just gonna double check that before I assume it's the starter. Did you ever have the oil light come on? Uh, no, I just checked it, it's down to 20%. Okay. Or at least that's what the computer said. Okay. Luckily that turned over just super easy, so I wasn't worried about the motor being seized. At that point, based off of the clicks and just the weak turning over, I was sure it was the starter. And I didn't even need to check the relay since I could hear that starter trying to start anyways. I'm gonna head back across town, do a few more things and grab that starter before I come back. And there's AutoZone. That's where I'm headed. All right, got the starter. Luckily this is a really light model starter because some starters are real heavy. But I knew that before I came over here, so I'm fine walking with this for a mile or so. Fun place to have a shop, that would be cool. Those are like furniture stores though, big O. All right, I just got back with that part from AutoZone. Let's head back across town, put that starter on real quick, and then I'll be done with today. All right, we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and then I'll bring the camera out when everything's ready to go. Now I am gonna see if I can push this car back a little bit, otherwise I'm about to break my back working on this foot and a half tall car. <sighs> I got it back by rolling one of the tires. I couldn't really push it, but for some reason it's a little easier to move a car when you just grab onto the tire and try and roll it. Whew. It's not so cold anymore. And now I'm really hot, so I might take my coat off. I'll see after I catch my breath. All right, now that I've got that beauty cover off, I'm gonna get started by just removing a bunch of these little vacuum lines and stuff. I don't wanna take the coolant lines off of the throttle body, so I'm just gonna take the bolts off. I didn't bring a gasket with me, but hopefully I can reuse the gasket for that and for the intake manifold. We'll see, here we go. All right, now that I've got all those lines and little vacuum hoses off, I'm gonna go ahead and try and take this outer part of the intake manifold off. There's honestly just one bolt on the bottom I need to worry about and then a plastic clip and then just some few bolts on the top. It's not a big deal. All right, I don't remember if there's any other connectors hidden on this. So yeah, this goes right here. Get this off though and then it should be ready to come out. I forgot to take that throttle body off, so I'm gonna do that real quick and then it should come out. All right, so luckily I was able to pry that gasket away super carefully and it looks like I'll be able to reuse that. The other gasket's metal, so I should be able to reuse that as well. And then there's a little plastic clip on the bottom of this I fought with for a second and I got that out. And then I'm able to pull this all the way out. Perfect, got that out nice and easy. And there's the starter. <laughs> All 
All right, so I've just got to pry a couple of clips loose, uh, the starter sensor and another little sensor to get that starter out of there. And then just take the two bolts off of that starter. My electric ratchet makes that fast, but I had to break them free by hand first. Uh, so just a minute of that and then it's ready to come out. Starter. Just got to disconnect the power cable to it. There's the old one. Nice and simple. And here's our brand new new one. Supposedly new instead of a rebuilt which I always go for a new one instead. Nowadays, had too many fail. Just put those in the pocket. No, let's just put those on real quick. All right, now you don't want to over tighten that new power cable. The battery is disconnected, uh, but I don't think I said that. And let's put everything back into place. Same way everything came out two bolts and then some connectors and pretty simple. That should be everything except for the battery and that cover. Everything else is tightened up. All right, let's see if that'll do it. I've got the key right here. No. Where's the key? Oh, where did I put the key? It's in here because I left this on. Boom, there you go. Started up, no problem. That's a job well done. If you like this video, you can support the channel by subscribing or donating at the links in the description. Leave me a positive comment, and if you like this video, I think you're going to love this next one. That's a job well done, and I'll see you on the next episode.